Hello YouTube, welcome to another JUnit video. In this video we're going to create our retry class that will allow us to rerun our tests that failed multiple times before actually totally failing them. So we're going to start by going to Java. We're going to create a new Java class. We're going to call it retry. This retry class is going to implement test rule from JUnit. And we're going to go ahead and implement the methods from test rule. And we're going to come back to that in a second. Next thing we're going to do, we're going to create a private variable that's going to hold an integer. This is going to represent our retry count. And it's going to be null by default. Then the next thing we're going to do, we're going to create a constructor. So it's going to be a public constructor. And this constructor is going to take an argument in the form of integer, and this is also going to be retry count. So now we're going to assign our retry count in our class to the retry count that was passed in to us. Now, our apply method is going to return something, but that something is not yet implemented. So let's go ahead and create our method that's going to be returned in the apply method here. So this method is going to be private and it's going to be uh, returning a statement. So we're going to just call it statement. And it's going to be taking two final arguments in here. One is going to be statement as base. And then another one is also final. And this one is description as description and then we are going to return new statement and this nice part of code is generated for us so inside here this is where our retry logic is going to be so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a variable that's going to um, store our exception uh, due to what test failed. So by default, it's going to be null. So we're just going to call it throwable equals null. And then we're going to create a for loop. And the way we're going to do for loop, we're going to say int i equals zero. And then if i is less than our rc, which is the retry count, we're going to run some logic and increment i by one. And the logic is going to be, we're going to try to do something, and then we're going to catch an exception as throwable. And we're going to assign throwable, because rem uh, remember, this throwable is null, so we need to make sure that we assign something to it so it's meaningful later on. And I'll tell you why we need to do that in a second. So once we are in our try block, what we're going to say, we're going to say base evaluate, which means just retest, run the test again. And then if everything is good, you know, return, which just means stop and move on to the next test. But if when we are retrying the test, it failed, we are capturing why it failed here and we are assigning that value to our throwable variable that's going to be holding our exception. And if that was the last time that we tried to retry the test, meaning say if I said retry the test three times and this was the third time and it failed on the third time, then we're going to exit our loop, our for, uh, for loop, and here we are going to throw our throwable. Okay, makes sense. I hope it does. So <clears throat> over here, let's just for debugging purposes, let's put some outputs. Let's say run um, i plus one failed. And then over here, let's say giving up after after 
failures. So now this is ready and we can actually implement that inside one of our suits. So let's go to test suit one and we're going to reference JUnit rule. So we're going to do annotation for the JUnit rule. And then we're going to create public retry. And we're going to use our retry class that we just created. So we're going to say public retry, call it retry, equal new retry. Now remember, this needs to take in an integer, how many times we want to retry certain thing, or certain re rerun uh, test if it failed. So let's do three times. So now we need to test that this actually works. Let's go in to our test over here and let's fail this one. Let's say assert, assert true. We're going to pass in false to make sure this test fails. And this one I want to leave as is to make sure that this guy will not be reran. And if it passes, because this one is going to pass, so we just going to make sure that this runs only once and this runs three times and fails on the third time. Uh, now to make it a little bit more readable, I'm going to remove this before stuff and after stuff. And let's run it, see what happens. And we're getting a null pointer exception somewhere. Where are we getting? Oh, right, right, because in our apply method, uh, we haven't actually changed this. So. Uh, in here, in apply method, we are not going to return null. We are going to return the statement that we created, and we're going to pass in our base and our description. So now that should work. Let's rerun this. And we see one test passed, and it ran once. And then one test failed, and it ran three times. And then after three times, we gave up. And this is our exception to why the test failed. So, looks correct. So, that's it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, and share the videos. And in the next video, we are going to create global rules that will be applied, that we can apply easily to any number of suits that we have. Uh, so, we don't have to write like this before class, before you know, before, before class, after, after class, multiple times, if they are the same across multiple test suits, um, I'll show you how to do that. And we can also um, implement retry in those global rules as well. So, but that's the next video. Thank you guys for watching and take care.